Shalom, shalom, shalom. This is your Ark. Yah is magnified and I'm back with another informative video. Today's video is titled, Beware of Child Support Scam Artists. But, before I tackle this subject as always, I must state for the record, I'm not a lawyer, I do not practice law, and I do not pretend to. All my videos are for informational and educational purposes only. They're all facts and all truth. Nothing more, nothing less. So with that being said, guys, let's get to it. Okay, so this is going to be a quick video, okay? Uh, in this video, I just want to expose an individual, or should I say a group of individuals, who are in fact posting my remedy on Facebook, pretending it to be theirs, okay? So now, as you all can see on the screen, you have a Facebook group titled Child Support and CPS Remedies, right? Uh, in this group, I don't know if this individual is the creator of the group or not, but and I'm not going to say this individual's name. For the simple fact that uh, I don't want to get the video flagged or anything like that. Okay, and I need this video to go uh, and be spread around on Facebook and YouTube to stop individuals or try to, you know, prevent individuals from being scammed by, you know, individuals in this group or maybe this group within itself. Okay, so now uh, the person or the perpetrator is her name or his name or whatever name it is because i don't even know if that's if, if this that person is real uh um page or not okay or real pitch or anything okay so uh you see it say group post by and that person's name that's the individual y'all need to go on facebook and report okay because this individual is in fact a scam artist and a fraud okay but now let's read what this individual posted in this child support and cps remedies group it states no more garnishments Ask me how. So we stroll down, right? And lo and behold, what do we have here? We have my Arc Micah, one of my first testimonies ever on YouTube, documents, you know, that individual is, per is perpetrating as if they help this individual or help uh, my Arc Micah receive that remedy. But that's far from the truth, okay? This is all my results that they're posting and they're trying to, you know, perpetrate as if it's their results, okay? As you all can see, uh, the top left corner states date, and it says uh, July 11th, 2017. We're going to go back, and I'm going to show you all without a shadow of a doubt that this is, in fact, my ox paperwork. It has my scribble. You know, I, know I scribbled it out and everything else. That's all my documents, okay? It's everything that I've done. The only thing this individual has done was put a stamp over top of it, trying to make it seem as though it's original or it's theirs. No, this is, a, this is my remedy. This is my documents. These are my results. Okay, so we need to get that word out to, you know, to prevent individuals from getting scammed. But as you all can see, this was in fact my ox uh, notice the income provider to terminate the withholding of obligors income slash access. Okay, let's stroll up. As you can see, the obligor last name was uh, Ford. Date of birth was 1987. Uh, then it states, you are notified to immediately terminate the withholding of the obligors income or assets. Right. Authorized representative, uh, Pamela S. Alexander, same, uh, uh, the county and everything goes going to be the same as it is on my document. But then you, this individual has 30 likes for something that they did not do, okay? And they also got people uh, inboxing them saying how, okay? So this is just a warning, man. If you are working with that individual, then you have been scammed, all right? And it's just that simple. Okay, so let's further prove that that individual is stealing the document or place my results on Facebook to pretend that it's theirs. So let's go there. Okay, so now, as you all can see on the screen, this is in fact uh, the video that's on my YouTube channel, okay, of where they screenshotted the results and try to make it as though it's their own, all right? So to further prove this is a video, let's click on it. Okay, so now, as you all just heard, that was him giving his testimony. If you all haven't watched that video, then after this video, go back and watch that video. The title of that video is titled, 
uh, child support testimony time. It's a powerful testimony that my aunt gave, okay? But as you all can see, this is the same exact document that they screenshotted. As a matter of fact, they screenshotted it from here. And it's just like that, okay? So now, top left corner, I mean, excuse me, top right corner still say what? Ford, date, July 11th, 2017. Notice the income provider to terminate the withholding of obligor's income slash assets, right? Uh, obligor name Ford, uh, date of birth, uh, year was 1987. You are notified to immediately terminate the, the withholding of the obligor's income or assets. Authorized representative Pamela uh, S. Alexander. So now as you all can see that all that is still the same. The only thing that's different is you do not see that fraudulent stamp on my document. Why? Because this is the original. Okay. They took the copy or they screenshotted this from online from this video and placed their stamp on it to, to try to pretend as if it's their document. Okay. So to those scam artists out there, your day will come because you know you did not provide these results. And because you did not provide these results, you're trying to scam individuals. Good things don't happen to those that scam, man. And it's just that simple, man. So your day will come. Okay? So, if you again, if you have a YouTube uh, channel or if you have a Facebook account, then repost this video. And if you are on Facebook and you are in those child support groups, then also post it, this video in those child support groups for people to get a better understanding of what's going on. So they won't get scammed to prevent more people from getting scammed because I'm pretty sure they done got a few people already. Okay, so now let's scroll up. As you can see, the title of this video again was titled Testimony Time, right? But let's see when this video was posted. It was published on July 14, 2017, three days after the notice. Okay, why? Because that's when my aunt received the notice and he did the, end of, he did the testimony the same day. Okay, but that's what I'm going to do for the day. Be on the lookout for my next testimony. It's coming real soon, guys. We're going to continue to apply that pressure. All right, let's get this right wisdom, this right knowledge, and this right understanding. Like, share, subscribe. If you all need my help, hit me up in my email at yahismagnified at gmail.com. And with that being said, guys, I say shalom.